what is going on guys so today we're going to be doing a review on house of matt oils he has a subscription service and here's a little bit of information on that service that he offers we will now offer monthly subscription subscriptions for body oil starting at ten dollars a month for a 10 mil roller bottle this month's fragrance will be creed viking for men hearts and roses for women and for the unisex fragrance they will be offering cream and sugar for the men's subscription monthly is ten dollars as well as for the women and also for the unisex subscription monthly will be ten dollars as well but for all three subscriptions combined it will just be 25 dollars monthly which is pretty good they also offer they also offer a starter package a wholesale package which will include 25 of the 10 mil roller bottles uh, of the top men selling body oils for $60. You get 20 of them, 25 roller bottles for $60, as well as for the women and for the unisex. Uh, you can do a mixture of, women, of men, women, and unisex for 25 bottles for $60. And you can do a mixture of men and women 25 bottle for $60. This is pretty good. I love the fact that he's offering like a monthly subscription I spend money on fragrances quite often and so it's not much for me to spend ten dollars even 25 on a monthly fragrance on a monthly subscription i would love to be able to do a three fragrances uh instead of just one with just the men's or just the unisex so maybe he'll offer something like that in the future but let's take a look at what we got this month so i went ahead and when i found out about it i instantly signed up i wasted no time so he sent me as a brochure said Creed Viking uh, you can see it here and I really like the way this smells man it smells really bright really fresh I get like a spicy floral when I smell this that is really nice so what he sent me was Creed Viking he sent Creed Viking in the 10 mil roller bottle as well as a hydro spray now the hydro body spray from what i believe has no alcohol and they replace it with the water so it's more so of a water a water-based fragrance i'm not sure what he uses to to bind the oil and the water together but they come together pretty nicely it smells pretty great more of a little softer a little creamier it seems like from the hydro spray goes on pretty well i can see this being much more much less volatile than the alcohol and a little safer on the skin not so drying and everything like that it's not bad the the hydro sprays aren't really my favorite but for someone who have skin sensitivities and things like that this could come in clutch for them it just has a little bit of like this dampness to it um it kind of reminds me of whenever you're in the shower and you have a cologne on and the water hits you and so the cologne that you have on starts to kind of kick out and project just a little bit but it's sort of muddled and it kind of smells like that like that muddled shower cologne smell when you're taking a shower and that fragrance is is coming off of you it kind of reminds me of that it doesn't smell bad though he also included in here a sample of the unisex cream and sugar and i think i smelled on this one earlier and i really like the way that one smelled yeah i like that it's super super high pitch sweetness it's definitely got that creaminess to it and there's like a little bit of tang or a tartness in there i don't know if it's uh i don't know if it's an apple or if it's a, a something tangy in here i don't know if it's a lemon or an apple but this is really nice i would love to put this into a glass bottle uh an atomizer bottle and make an atomizer spray out of that that smells really nice but back to this here, like I said, really fresh, bright, uplifting, spicy, floral. Let's take a look at the notes. So the notes for this is pink pepper, Calabrian, bergamot, Sicilian lemon, pink pepper, spicy mint, Bulgarian rose, sandalwood, lavender, Haitian vetiver, and Indian patchouli. I like fragrances that can utilize different variations from different parts of the world of a particular uh, ingredient or note that we tend to see a lot of. We tend to see patchouli and vetiver in a lot of things, lemon in a lot of fragrances. So when I see people try to, and bergamot as well, and when I see people try to incorporate different types of that same exact ingredient or different variation or different, you know, 
type of you know a variant of that ingredient that's always super cool to see that and uh especially when it works out well in the note layout i have a variation of viking i believe i got it from uh wholesale body oils and they theirs wasn't i didn't like that one i haven't really got a chance to like wear it wear it i'll try it on i haven't got a chance to like really wear it for real but this one out the gate smells really pleasant i'm always impressed by his oils they do a really good job a really good take on the fragrances a really good depiction the price is well well done and everything smells well well made this one like i said smells slightly citrus floral i get that rose i get that uh like i said that lemon that citrus comes in that bergamot that pink pepper comes in and then you get pink pepper at two points uh i think it's in the mid and in the uh the base if i'm not mistaken but i know there's two parts where that pink pepper comes in not the mid and the base the top note the top and the mid <laughs> it's super just nice smelling so this is the hydro spray i'm gonna come over here with it all right on skin yeah that smells that's that's really good i can't wait to make an atomizer out of this oil so what i do normally is i'll take an oil like this and i'll find a bottle or something like this and I'll take a little bit of oil, put it in here, rest with alcohol, and I'll make an, ac an atomizer out of it. And uh, I'll keep some of the oil as well. And I'll put some of that on one of the days when I don't feel like, you know, using a spray bottle. I can't wait to make a spray out of that one. It smells so good. That mint kind of comes in and adds a little bit more freshness, a little bit more of a brightness. The pink pepper really gives it like a slight spiciness, but in a really neat, clean way. It doesn't smell overbearing at all with the spices. It's floral enough with that Bulgarian rose. There's a little bit of woods in there and that vetiver comes in and just lightly supports everything, adding a little bit of a grassy and fresh woody, uh, neat woody tone to it. I kind of get like a fresh soap vibe from it as well, but I'm not, it's just, it's just really nice. It's a really nice, fresh, bright, clean, sort of neat, but peppery and spicy fragrance. That is it for this video, you guys. Uh, like I said, this is House of Matte Oils, the Creed Viking. Uh, very nice. I love the color of the juice, that red color. Uh, reminiscent of that that red that's on the bottle, on the original bottle. Really, really, really good stuff. Also, don't forget to go and check out our website. Check out napsandnurture.com. Uh, check out our coffee, Jamaican Blueberry Cobbler. And place your order in to get this smooth, rich, bold, uh velvety not too bitter not too strong and overpowering flavorful blend of coffee this is our very own coffee blend this is new to the coffee jamaican blueberry cobbler upon ordering you guys will receive the coffee as well as our wristband merch this is a half inch white silicone bracelet you'll receive a business card and you'll also receive a five mil decant of a fragrance that we've been building and working on ourselves personally and uh, just to give you guys a good idea of what we're working on and to gauge whether you will like it whether you won't like it uh definitely be looking out for that but yeah napsandnurture.com that is it for this video you guys like comment share subscribe and i will see you guys soon